Clone Robotics has unveiled Protoclone, a humanoid android designed to mimic human anatomy so closely that it flexes muscles, moves with fluidity, and even sweats. Yes, sweats. It's a groundbreaking leap towards synthetic humans. Imagine a machine that combines the agility of Boston Dynamics Atlas, the lifelike presence of engineered arts of Mecca, and the practical utility of Tesla's Optimus. Protoclone is here to challenge them all, and it's already shocking the world. At six feet tall, with translucent skin that reveals its intricate inner structure, Protoclone is built around a polymer skeleton that replicates all 206 human bones. Some bones are strategically fused for durability and efficiency, but the framework remains strikingly human. Unlike most robots powered by rigid motors, Protoclone uses biomimicry, creating movement that feels less mechanical and far more organic. The secret lies in its muscles. Protoclone is powered by over 1,000 synthetic myofibers, artificial muscles engineered to contract and expand just like ours. Each myofiber is a mesh tube with a balloon inside, pump in fluid, and it contracts lengthwise while expanding outward, almost exactly like human muscle tissue. This gives Protoclone more than 200 degrees of freedom, producing fluid, lifelike motion that traditional robots simply can't match. At its core, Protoclone has what engineers call a synthetic heart, a 500-watt electric pump. It pushes hydraulic fluid through the body at high pressure, powering every contraction, every flex, every shrug. Current prototypes rely on pneumatics, but future versions are expected to transition to hydraulics. That shift will make Protoclone stronger, more efficient, and much quieter. But perhaps the most fascinating feature is its ability to sweat, using real water circulated through microchannels. Protoclone cools itself just like we do. This isn't a gimmick. With so many moving parts generating heat, efficient cooling is vital. Sweating allows this android to sustain performance without overheating. Protoclone's sensory system is equally advanced. It carries more than 500 sensors, including depth cameras in its head, inertial sensors in its joints, and pressure sensors built into its muscles. This allows Protoclone to perceive its environment, understand its own body, and even learn tasks by watching humans perform them. Clone Robotics, the company behind this breakthrough, has a bold vision. Founded by Dhanush Radhakrishnan and engineer Lukash Kosik, the team has spent years developing musculoskeletal androids. Their mission? To build synthetic humans capable of handling real-world tasks, from household chores to industrial labor. They're not just building robots. They're engineering musculoskeletal, superintelligent androids with the most human-like hands in the world. Still, Protoclone isn't perfect. In demonstrations, it's often suspended for support, meaning it can't yet stand or walk independently. Critics argue this makes it more proof of concept than practical machine. And its faceless design, a sleek visor and translucent skin, unsettles some viewers. It avoids the uncanny valley but gives Protoclone an eerie, almost sci-fi presence. Even so, Protoclone enters the arena against giants like Atlas, Omeka, and Optimus, and it brings something truly unique. Atlas dominates in mobility. Omeka shines in conversation. Optimus is built for utility. But Protoclone focuses on anatomical realism. Muscles, bones, sweat, and movement that look eerily human. It's not just a robot built for tasks. It's a machine built to feel alive. Protoclone may not walk yet, but it's already walking robotics into a new era. A robot that flexes like us, moves like us, and even cools itself like us. The age of synthetic humans is closer than ever. If you want to stay ahead of the future of robotics, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Because what comes after Protoclone might just change everything.